This is what the Blue Angels are all about, precision flying and breathtaking maneuvers. The Angels are exact not only in the air, but on the ground. Lieutenant John Verdon of Cedar Falls is a pilot in this select group. Although he does not actually fly during performance, his job is one of coordinating on the ground. This week, John had a chance to visit his parents at home. I looked at the Blue Angels as uh, probably the most challenging job the Navy, naval aviator could ever try to strive for. So I set it as a goal when I first started uh, my naval aviation career. We're, we're real proud of John. We, 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 we think it was great that he graduated from the academy and then to go on and become a Blue Angel. Yeah, we're extremely proud and we've enjoyed following with the shows. and We've seen several of them and, and we've really had a lot of fun. One of the main purposes of the Angels is to help with recruiting for the Navy. Pilot Kurt Watson often gets asked about pursuing a naval aviation career. That education is paramount. You know, the better education that you get, the better your opportunities are, or the more options you have in the type of career you want to select. Like others who've seen the Blue Angels, I have dreamed of what it would be like to fly in one of these planes, doing maneuvers that are hard to imagine from the ground, let alone in the air. Recently I got my chance, but my heart sank a little when I found out that Lieutenant Mike Gershon would actually let me fly the plane. If you're doing well, I will not always have my hand on a stick, and I'll probably show you my hand as you're doing a roll just to prove that to you. Okay. It's easy to do. I was also briefed on what to do if we had to eject. Fortunately, that did not happen. Just grab a hold of it, just like you got it. Okay. Make sure you don't press any of these buttons, okay? okay. All right. These are for trim. Okay? All right. Hold it just like you got it right there, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten you up there, put your helmet right. on, and we'll be ready to go flying. Okay. All right. In a short time, we were taxiing. Lieutenant Gershon familiarized me with some of the instruments in the plane. Then it came our turn, and we powered up and rolled down the runway. The scenery below zoomed by as we streaked along the ground. No cameras were allowed on the flight, so we were using some pictures supplied by the Navy. First Lieutenant Gershon showed me how to do some aileron rolls and put his plane into banking maneuvers that allowed me to experience G-forces up to four Gs, or four times my weight. But it was on that maneuver that I experienced five and a half G's and momentarily blacked out. I was feeling somewhat weak as Lieutenant Gershon did a carrier-style landing. And finally, we got Lieutenant Gershon to comment on my handling of the Blue Angels airplane. Some people are more timid with the airplane than others. Most folks can be talked through an aileron roll, but uh, you had no problem. As a matter of fact, you did quite a few aileron rolls, and I thought they were real good. Uh, do you take any points off if I don't come up level with the horizon? Uh, we always do. <laughs>